Hey everyone, Christian Hickey back with, after a while, a new rant video. I haven't done one of these in a long time, but I just wanted to make this rant about something that's been bothering me. And that is, when game companies release their games, you know, how they hype it up to make it look awesome, and then when you actually get the game, it's a buggy, glitchy mess, or it and or it lacks content. <clears throat> I'm no stranger to that. Obviously, because I did buy games, either I pre-ordered them or I bought them day one. And they were just buggy, they were glitchy, they were just, and they were lacking content. And it's just really irritating. Now, for the examples of games that I bought that are buggy and glitchy, obviously there's Sonic 06, but you know that's been that game has been talked about so many times already. So that's just one example. The other example is Assassin's Creed Unity. I pre-ordered that game, and when I play, started playing it, it was buggy, it was glitchy, and it was just a mess. It was really frustrating. The other game I got was Dying Light 2. Now, granted, Dying Light 2 was supposed to come out last year. In de or it was supposed to come out in December of last year. And they delayed it to February of this year. And even though they delayed it, I got the game day one. It was buggy, glitchy, and it was just... It was a mess. Okay, how many times am I going to say buggy, glitchy mess? Or, I don't know. But anyway... It's just actually really annoying where you or game companies talk about what game they're going to release or they show off the game in like trailers or like in E3, getting people hyped. But when people actually pre-order the game or buy the game day one, the game is a mess. It's buggy, glitchy, lacks content, and it's just a mess. And honestly, that needs to stop. It needs to freaking stop. Because it's so annoying. Now, there are... And another example I almost forgot. Ghost Recon Breakpoint. While that game was actually not bad. Again, it was... It was, it was a bit buggy and a bit glitchy. Like, there was this one time where... In the game, by the way... I was on a mountaintop trying to take over an enemy base... And my character gets stuck in a rock and I couldn't move. I couldn't even fast travel. And that was a glitch that was really annoying. Now, granted, Ubisoft has fixed both Ghost Recon Breakpoint and Assassin's Creed Unity. And Teclan has fixed up Dying Light 2. But really, those games should have never been released in that state. At all. Oh, and one last example. Okay, I'm going to say one last, but another example... Cyberpunk 2077. Now, granted, I did not actually get Cyberpunk 2077 when it first came out. Because it just, it didn't really appeal to me at the time. But yeah, anyway, um, that game was released as a buggy, glitchy, probably even more buggy and glitchy than the other games that I mentioned. <clears throat> Forcing CD Projekt, CD Projekt to pull the game off the PlayStation Store and give a refund to the people that purchased the game. Eventually though, they did re-release it, and I have it on a PS5, and it works actually a whole lot better than how it used to before, making it a fantastic game. But even then, like I said, the game shouldn't have been released in that state. I mean, no game should be released as a buggy, glitchy mess. But anyway, uh, now, for games that lack content, Halo Infinite. Just gets bring it out. Halo Infinite. While it wasn't a bad game, it lacked a lot of content. Like, for example, the multiplayer lacked was lacking, and even the campaign was lacking. Like, the campaign, while it was good, they didn't have Mission Replay. I mean, I'm glad there's Mission Replay now, and that they added more features for... Halo Infinite's multiplayer, like Forge, bringing that back. Now, 
I didn't play Forge, so... I mean, I played it on the original Halo games, but not on Infinite, at least not yet. But anyway, uh, it took us to wait who, until the winter update for 343 Industries to finally put in a mission replay and add more content to the game, or to the game's multiplayer. <clears throat> Another example, Ghost Recon Breakpoint again. I mean, not only, like I said, it was not only glitchy and a bit buggy, but also lacked content. Like, there was not a whole lot to do after you completed the story. Okay, I shouldn't say that. There was some things to do, but aside from that, it's just <clears throat> wasn't a whole, wasn't too crazy. And, and I'm glad they added in new content to the game. So, yeah. But, yeah. And another, uh, and for an honorable mention for games that are kind of buggy and lacks content, Gotham, recently released Gotham Knights. Which, the only buggy, the only bugs and glitches I could find was, sometimes the characters, when they're not, when they're idle, still appear to be holding their weapons. Or when they're like, grabbing onto a ledge and their weapons are like, clipping through their hands. That's one bug I found with Nightwing. How, uh... <clears throat> he still has his batons in his hands, even though they're supposed to be, um, stored. Which is not that crazy. It's not that big of a deal. Another glitch is sometimes when you do, when you complete a crime, it's like, you complete everything, you even got the bonus, but it still... It doesn't say that you, the, uh crime that you completed is done because and you took all the enemies you completed all the bonuses but it doesn't say crime resolved at the end and another another nitpick or a nitpick glitchers whatever you want to call it when you have the uh a waypoint set to either a crime or one of your contacts and after you do the crime or contacts it's still on the screen now not on the map but still on the screen when you're roaming around Gotham City. But that's just an honorable mention. Because those bugs are not game breaking. I mean it, the game's not buggy or glitchy. It's not a mess. It's just some minor glitches that. They don't break the game. But it's just distracting. But yeah. Um, I just wanted to bring this up. Because it was actually really annoying. Like. It's really really irritating how game companies release games that are not complete that are unfinished and lack content it needs to stop so please if you're a game developer and it doesn't matter who you work for but if you're a game developer release the game in a complete finished state with the required content now i'm no game developer but still, games need to be released, completed, and content need that the content that that are, is promised needs to be put in the game. We shouldn't wait for games that are you know a mess and lacking content. We shouldn't wait for games to be updated to fix all the bugs and glitches, and wait for content to be in the game. I almost forgot Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I almost forgot about one thing is that. They have since added in AI teammates, which should have been included in the game before. In fact, the stuff in Halo Infinite and Ghost Recon Breakpoint, the content that they showed off, should have been in the game in the first place. But yeah. Game developers need to release games that are finished. Games that have the required content they need. Because... This is why there are games that, start, that are starting to flop. Because they are unfinished, glitchy, buggy mess that lack content. It really needs to stop. But anyway, that's it. I just wanted to bring this up. But yeah, that's all I gotta say. See you next time.